is most of the 25 offices. Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about scale up and scale out storage, specifically in the flash use case. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about this lately. What's the importance of being able to scale out storage in a flash array? So let's first talk about why you would scale storage in the first place. Uh, so the uh, one reason would be you're out of capacity. Right? You just need additional storage to store all your data. The second reason would be you're out of performance, meaning that you just need more IOs to be able to handle workloads and things like that. Well, in the scale out use case, the way that works is we buy one box, and we're essentially paying for all the performance that the box could generate up front. So all the capability is in that box. Now, capacity can be added by adding shelves to this box and then adding drives to those shelves. In general, though, there's a finite number of shelves that you can add to the system. Uh, and then uh, once you reach that, that limit, you have to buy another storage system. Okay? A scale-out strategy is a little different in that generally all the capacity and the performance is inside of one unit. And then when you need additional performance or capacity, you buy another one and another one and another one. And essentially this, in theory, can go uh, to infinity. Now the, the, the challenge is, is that in the all-out flash use case, uh, what we're seeing is that the performance today of this one box far exceeds the capability of uh, most applications to be able to drive it. So the need to go to additional uh, systems is really uh, not as valuable as it would be in, say, a, a large storage use case like archiving, maybe a cloud storage environment, something like that. So that, that really becomes a challenge. Uh, the, the second problem is, is in capacity in all flash arrays, we generally have two things operating for us at, at any given time, is uh, dedupe and compression, plus the capacity. So uh, a 25 terabyte system, for example, many times will act like 100 terabytes of capacity. So for many environments, that's all the capacity you're going to need. So as you start to look at the scale up versus scale out strategy, uh, what you run into is, all right, I, I probably am not going to need the performance of additional systems. And in good chance, I'm probably not going to need the capacity of additional systems. So, but what's the downside of doing that? Well, there's, there's some uh, architectural issues that we have to be concerned with in scale out. This is, at least from a vendor standpoint, more complex. For you, the user up here, uh, you're just seeing one storage volume. But down here, we've got to do some pretty sophisticated networking, back-end communication, and we also have to be able to uh, run some pretty sophisticated clustering software so that this does indeed appear like one uh, system. So for, as an example, if we write data to this cluster, we actually then uh, have to break up that data and then stripe it across all the nodes in the cluster. Uh, that requires a lot of back-end communication and things like that. Uh, in, in the hard drive-based scale-out storage systems, that wasn't that big of a deal because we, we had the latency of hard drives. Remember, this is all memory now. There is no latency. So that process, we call it encoding, that process of encoding could have a noticeable performance impact. To get around that, you have to increase the processing power of these systems and you have to put a more sophisticated back-end network in. Well, guess what? That drives up the, the total cost of ownership again. So when you're looking at uh, all flash systems, consider that scale-out storage for most, most environments is going to give you all you need, probably is going to be simple enough, uh, much simpler to use, and you're not invoking a lot of this uh, background communication. So, so we think that the type of architecture you leverage isn't necessarily as important as the capabilities of the box itself. So really focus on what the boxes can do and not as much on the architecture. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.